Up till now, the primary archaeological material we've been talking about are stone tools such as these, basic Oldowan stone tools. These are expediently made, very simple stone tools, with just usually a single or a couple flakes knocked off of a basic core, giving you some sort of chopping tool and a few cutting surfaces in those flakes themselves. Around 1.7 to 1.5 million years ago, we start seeing stone tools such as these. These are known as Ashley and hand axes. And for more than a million years, these are the dominant stone tool type found in Africa, Asia, Europe, pretty much everywhere the stone tools are being made. And what we see when we look at one of these Ashley and stone tools is that they're more complex in their structure than the basic Oldowan tools. Now we've gone from a simple core with a few flakes knocked off it to something that has a distinctive shape and a shape that's repeated again and again and again in different contexts. It has a different symmetry. There's not just functional aspects to this tool, but also potentially something a little bit more than that. This is a tool that has a cutting surface across its entire circumference. It has been worked both sides, so it's bifacially flaked. It has a symmetry to it. These tools also show more evidence of curation, being stored and kept, and actually retouched, where the edges of the cutting surface are actually chipped away to re-sharpen them after they've been used. So we see evidence of these in many different environments. Certain locations preserve thousands of these Ashleyan stone tools, thousands of these Ashleyan hand axes. We're not exactly sure why in some places they're so abundant, but they're characteristic across the entire old world for more than a million years. The development of these Ashleyan hand axes corresponds to increasing intensification in terms of how hominins are extracting resources out of their environment. Together with this, we see more evidence of distinctive hunting of not just medium size, but large size game, large size predation in other words. We see evidence perhaps of eventually utilizing wooden tools such as spears to take down animals, all during the time period in which this stone tool is the most dominant stone tool type we find. So the advent of the Ashley and stone tool industry, sometime around 1.5 to 1.7 million years ago, gave rise to tools like this. And these tools appear for more than a million years. Tools that are bifacially flaked, that show regularity in terms of the form and structure of their appearance, and that show multifunctionality in terms of their ability to be used for multiple tasks. Perhaps crafting other tools, wooden tools, tools that maybe aren't preserved in the archaeological record, through the use of this.